right, here's the Funk Master, Aljo, Aljamain Sterling. We talk so much about the state of this 135 pound division, how it's never been stronger, and yet, this guy's starting to distance himself from the pack a little bit. Outstanding grappler, and more often than not, he's gonna have a big advantage in that world. Yeah, that's that's one of the things that separates Aljamain, is that he's one of those guys that tells you what he's gonna do, and then he goes and he does it. Nothing's more discouraging for a fighter than to know what you have to defend and still not be able to defend it. Aljamain Sterling is a beast. Now, he did hint to us in the fighter meeting that he thought he could win this fight without chaining takedown. So perhaps we'll see a strike-heavy approach here from Sterling early. We shall see. The Funk Master, Aljamain Sterling, steps inside the octagon. He looks ready to go. This is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Chief. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times closely in a match. Just so wise. Our tail of the take now for this lightweight championship fight. Here once more. Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Al Jermaine Punk Master Sterling. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Herb Dean is your referee. He's the third man in the octagon tonight. All right, so here's Aljamain Sterling. Hasn't necessarily been a fast starter in the UFC. There's no denying the toughness, the creativeness, his scrambling ability. You know about the wrestling acumen, but he uses his length very well. This is a hard guy to hit, and it looks like he'll be hard to hit here out of the shoot tonight. Sterling going for the takedown, he misses. These guys are trying to knock each other out. This is a phenomenal fight. Sterling gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. When he gets close, he throws, he lands. Well, Sterling's got a very unorthodox striking style. A lot of different weapons in his arsenal. And a lot of those have been on display here in this on the front kick there. Oh, nice. Oh, 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 oh. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in Elementary School. Oh, Great reversal to top position by Sterling. Look at that. Recognize he was about to lose position. Go 
Really maximizing his shots here on the ground. North-south position. Now he's going full mount. Under two minutes to go. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Lee. Big ground and pound. Under a minute now to go in this one. What a tight arm bar. Whoa, submission defense. He gets out. Calmness in that moment. It looked like the fight was over. He was able to clear his head, put the guy into the mount. Not a great position, but much better than getting his arm snapped in half from an arm bar. Round two is next. All right, listen. We did good that round, but we gotta do better. Okay? He's a wrestler. We know he wants to get the takedown. I need you to stay up. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. You ready to fight? Ready. Second round underway. Nice body. attempt but unable to land well he was a little bit lackluster in round one you can't say the same here in this second round he has really picked up the oh i think he's still compromised we'll see if he can recover here he's in a world of trouble oh my goodness oh landed that kick to the leg another one Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game plan. Lee going for the leg kick. He does not connect. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. Nice punch to the head. Nice combination of kicks there by Lee. 
starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Two rounds in the books. All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights. He has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead. And I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. You ready? You ready? Go. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Leg kick lands, nicely done. He missed with that jab attempt there. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now, as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are gonna count. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. All right, there it is, another strike targeting that damaged area on the body. Is this a game plan thing or perhaps trying to set something up high later? Well, I think it's, I think it's all, it all works together. You get the hands to start to drop, and then when those hands drop, you go over the top of that head kick. But beating up the body sets up the attack sometimes. That is exactly what this guy is doing. Connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Oh, with authority, the body. Sterling's able to switch his stance here. We'll see how the defense responds. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting them up now. Looking to land the right, just out of range. Right on the button. All right, so a knockdown for him in the previous round, and you can just see by his body language how confident he is in the striking realm in this matchup. And you can see his confidence in his posture, but also you can see the effect that knockdown had on his opponent by the way he is approaching this round. Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. Oh, great block there. And he's got a bruise starting to appear on that right side of his body now. Under a minute now to go. Sterling's now switching his stance. Oh, is that a massive knee to the head? Could be in trouble here. Sterling's elbow attempt here, blocked by the defense. Oh! Oh, he's stunned bad. He's got to grab him. He's got to recover. Oh! He landed in perfectly. Perfect placement. Perfect position. What a huge blow in a big moment in this fight. All right, so the round is over, but not before damage was done. Cut on the cheek, sustained in that round. Cut man in there quickly as usual to try to seal it up. All right, as they attend to the damaged fighter, we will re-rack some replays for you. A lot of damaging strikes landed by the opposition in that previous round. Well, him just not really paying attention on the defensive side has made his opponent look like an absolute world beater. He's a good fighter, but he has never looked this good. And that is, in, that is partly because his opponent is not defending. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Fourth round. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, here we go. The tension is palpable. Fourth round is underway. You've got a thing or two to say about these championship rounds. The fourth round is easily the hardest round in fighting. You're so used to fighting up to three. you got to get back off of that stool, and this is a real test of your will and desire. Oh! Huge right hand! 
right hand there. All right, well, good news is he rocked him. Bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, you don't get those opportunities very often. He's in a lot of trouble. Oh, body kick attempt here is no good. Leg kick lands. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other DC. Yes, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew that both guys would be very evenly matched in this fight. But we didn't expect to see this type of war between these two guys. Oh, brutal knee to the bottom. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yep. To the head, it's blocked. Just over two minutes to go. Oh, snaps his head back with that offering. DC, he is hurt. What a beautiful uppercut. It landed beautiful, perfect placement on that shot. All right, so the uppercuts have been a big part of the storyline in this one, but the setups have really been key for him. He's not telegraphing that strike, and the opponent hasn't been able to adjust. He has not been able to see them. It's a very tricky punch, especially in the way that he throws it. He throws it at a time when you expect so many different strikes, but it's because he has such a vast knowledge of his that strike. Oh, he hurt him again, bro. Nice job by him. What a fight. Both of these guys are trying to finish. What a fight. He's now switching his stance. 30 seconds to go. He passes to half guard. Changing the position. Final seconds of the round. Lands the grounded pound strike here. Oh, oh he got saved by the bell there. He was getting absolutely starched on the ground, grounded and pounded. Thankfully, the horn came at a good time. You see, gingerly, he gets back to his feet. He'll go back to the stool now for 60 seconds. Now the onus is on his corner to try to keep him in the fight. All right, let's look back at some of the action in that round, DC. What a high-level display of offensive wrestling. I mean, this is a joy for me to watch. I enjoy watching a guy maintain this level Good of fight. wrestling for as Good. long as he has done this. Good. He is constantly in his opponent's face. He's constantly taking him down. Getting taken down and getting up is exhausting. Let's see how tired his opponent is at the start of the next round. Well, an appreciative capacity crowd on its feet as this next round gets underway. That previous what a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his uh, low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Oh, that's big. You better get that elbow down or he's going to keep blasting the body from right to the rear. He's just being more aggressive. And because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Pretty good stuff getting that kick off. Back and forth we go. Man, his body not looking too good right now. It's not quite Dominic Reyes against Jan Vlahovic, but these body strikes are really starting to add up. They're starting to pay dividends. You know, he spoke to us about this earlier in the week, how he was going to eat this guy up from bottom to top. He was going to go in reverse. That is exactly what he has done. Under three minutes now to go round five. Loving it, 
Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Let's get it to Bruce Buffer now. He has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 23 seconds of round number five. You're playing the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. Well, what else can you say about Bruce Lee after a performance like this one? Seemingly everyone on the roster wants to take their cracks against one of the founding fathers of mixed martial arts. And candidly thus far, few men have succeeded. This just might have been.